howdy do I picked up the new urban chestnut eight pack today mix pack uh, it comes with eight 500 milliliter bottles this was the box a box four <laughs> work count on one two three four two from the revolution two from the reverent series and I thought I'd start with this one from the reverent series uh, the Maximilian Weissenbach Ale is six and a half, 20 IBUs, and believe it or not, of the four beers, it is the lowest in APV at only six and a half percent. Maximilian the first, Duke of Bavaria, was responsible for the permittance of wheat being used in German brewing. As such, we pay our respects to Old Max with this traditional Weissenbach, a Bach beer brewed with both wheat malt and wheat both wheat malt and oh uh, so, blah, 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 both wheat malt and a, and a wheat beer yeast strain so there we go this uses two kinds of hollertau hops uh uses pilsner munich caramel and chocolate malt i believe it has a beautiful color um looks darker there than it really is it's more of a, a dark brown than a black Oh, wow, uh, wow. Um, stunning aromas. Uh, if there's a brewery out there, if there's a craft brewery out there that does traditional styles uh, impeccably, it is Urban Chestnut. I'm not saying they're the only one, but it is something they do extremely well in their Reverent series. The Revolution series basically takes beer styles and kind of turns them upside down. They take some traditional styles and do their own thing with them. Their, their mix packs always come with... Well, there's four different beers, uh, half a revolution, half our reverence. Uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful aromas. Almost feels floral to me. Maybe hints of clove in there as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, mm, it's uh, one of the best uh, whites and box I've had in a long time. This is beautiful. In fact, the last time I had one even close to this good, I was at the Saddlebach Brewery in Springdale, Arkansas, and that's another one that uh, another brewery, Steve Raybach. Uh, uh, most of his beers tend to be German influenced as well. And that's something they do well. Uh, they do some crazy styles well too, but their traditional stuff is just spot on. I think there are so many craft breweries out there that are just turning stuff out on its ear and going way out of the box that sometimes we forget to pay homage to breweries like Urban Chestnut and Saddlebach and others that are doing beautiful um, traditional style civil life out of st louis is another one that does great traditional styles i think sometimes traditional beer styles tend to get overlooked for whatever the crazy new trend is this is very interesting uh, it's not heavy at a six and a half percent um uh, we'll call it a medium-bodied beer. Why the hell not? Uh, even though I have a rather warm day here, I don't think this one is too heavy for the day. It, it feels very refreshing. It's got a very clean, dry finish. The carbonation is spot on for the style, I believe. I think everything about it is spot on for the style. That's what Urban Chestnut does, man. I mean, it, it's what they do. And they're getting to put a lot in a bottle these days, but if you ever get a chance to get to their brewery, either location in St. Louis, I recommend because they have a lot of different beers there that, that aren't getting to a bottle ever. Um, when I was there a little over a year ago, uh, I was just uh, blown away by uh, by some of the beers that I had. They do. I did a single hop. Uh, I had a couple single hop IPAs, a single hop Pilsner. They just, uh, the way they they craft beers and put them together is just amazing. Oh, very nice indeed. Yeah, I got to four packs, so I plan on doing all four today. I'm going to go crazy, man. This is Tom the Beer Whisper. I certainly recommend y'all trying this one.